Do you admit to being evil, Richard? We are all evil in some form or another, are we not? Convicted serial killer Richard Ramirez seemed to relish the concept of evil. And once upon a time, a lot of folks in the state of California viewed the one-time Texas altar boy as evil's human embodiment. Yes, I am evil. Not 100%, but I am evil. In the summer of 1985, the Texas drifter descended like a deadly disease on a hot California night. A one-man epidemic of madness and murder, one of America's first serial killers to be given a brand name, the name, the Night Stalker. Lock your doors, lock your windows. If you have the ability to provide additional security devices, then by all means do so. Who wants to be next? I don't. No one else does. He preyed on both women and men, young and old. He slipped through windows, slit throats, raped, tortured, and killed. What he did to me has been the total destruction of my life and my girlfriend's life. Former computer engineer Bill Carnes, one of Ramirez's many victims. One night, Carnes and his girlfriend were assaulted in their bed. The woman was raped and Bill Carnes shot three times in the head. Bill Carnes ended up in a group home with a bullet still lodged in his brain. He stole my memory, he took my girlfriend, um, he took my career. And this was just an un unprovoked attack. But after dozens of such attacks, police identified their suspect, and on the morning of August 1st, 1985, Richard Ramirez's picture ran on front pages, and within hours, angry residents of this East L.A. neighborhood spotted, captured, and then severely beat Richard Ramirez as he tried to steal a car to evade police. We're happy to announce that the individual we have in custody is Richard Ramirez the Night Stalker. I can't begin to tell you how proud we, all of us, are of the people in this community who, uh, to a man and a woman, were involved in, in trying to track this guy down and capture him. That night, there was dancing in the streets of the East L.A. neighborhood where Ramirez was caught, but in court, the case dragged on for four long years, with the Texas drifter frequently disrupting the proceedings by displaying satanic signs and shouting obscenities at the judge. This trial is a joke. We, the jury in the above entitled action, find the defendant, Richard Ramirez, guilty of murder. But in the end, the jury sent Richard Ramirez to California's death row for 13 murders. I first met Richard Ramirez shortly after his L.A. conviction. Richard had been transferred to a jail in San Francisco where he was charged with and ultimately would be found guilty of a 14th murder. What do you want the world to know about you? The world has been fed many lies about me. Uh, I have read very few truths. Who are you? <sighs> Just a guy. Just a guy. At the time, Ramirez was certainly a guy attracting a lot of attention. Since his arrival at the San Francisco jail, women from around the country, including one of the female jurors who had found him guilty in Los Angeles, had been flocking to the San Francisco facility, even fighting with each other over Richard's affections. I have friends. And that is all I care to say, really. They are open-minded people. And it was here in a cramped room in a San Francisco jail that I interviewed the man known as the Night Stalker. A memorable face-off with me asking questions and Ramirez, for the most part, reading from a script. Did you kill 13 people? It would be improper for me to comment on my LA convictions and on my pending case here in San Francisco. Why? because of my appeals. Are you appealing these because you say you're innocent? You didn't kill 13 people? That is correct. You didn't kill 13 people? Again, it would be improper for me to comment in any regard to that question. You have now entered a very rare group of people in this country. You're in the, the ranks of Charlie Manson, 
Ted Bundy. You claim you didn't commit these murders. But you're right in there now, as far as everybody else is concerned. Serial killers do on a small scale what governments do on a large one. They are a product of the times, and these are bloodthirsty times. Even psychopaths have emotions if you dig deep enough. But then again, maybe they don't. Do you have emotions, Richard? No comment. Tell me what kind of emotions you got going through you right now. I'll tell you what, I gave up on love and happiness a long time ago. Why? I, I don't care to explain that. So let, let, the, let the quote stand for itself. People, people in this day and age are brainwashed and programmed like a computer at being nothing more than puppets. This nation, this country is founded in violence. <sighs> violent delights tend to have violent ends. It's, madness is something rare in individuals, but in groups, people in ages. It is a rule. Killing is killing, whether done for duty, profit, or fun. Men murdered themselves into this democracy. You're, you're good at reading your script, Richard, but you're not much at answering my direct questions. A lot was made that you're a devil worshiper. Do you worship the devil? Have you ever studied Satanism? <sighs> there are different sects of Satanism. Have you studied, just yes or no, have you studied yes, Satanism? Yes, I have. Are you, are you a worshiper of the devil? No comment. Come on, Richard. We're I can tell you a little bit about Satanism. Well, I'm, I'm interested in hearing what you got to say then. It is undefiled wisdom instead of hypocritical self-deceit. It is power, power without charity. A Satanist admits to being evil. You admit to being evil, Richard? We are all evil in some form or another, are we not? I'm asking you the questions, my friend. <laughs> yes, I am evil. Not 100%, but I am evil. Evil has always existed. The perfect world most people seek shall never come to pass, and it's going to get worse. <sighs> the great epochs of our life is when we gain the courage to rebaptize our e evil qualities as being our best qualities. And as the interview draws to a close, I cannot help but recall Bill Carnes and the thought that behind this glib young man, who seems to flatter himself as a kind of rock star outlaw, lies the bodies of at least 13 innocent people and the shattered lives of dozens more. You're entitled to your opinion, and that's it. Thank you.